This video will talk about web access connection quality and this is a brief of the feature and this is our topology. In the next slide, we will show list of configuration steps. And here we will perform a demonstration. As you can see, right over here is the very small window bar of the web access connection quality. There is a graph being provided where the X axis shows number of active users against the time of the connection. There are two colors to indicate the reading for fastest users and red black for slowest users. This is the connection quality of today and next is the real-time connection quality. On top of this bar, you can see few buttons. This on the bottom right is a user-based detection and more settings. So let's open this in a new tab. Generally, we can enable or disable this feature by ticking or unticking the following button. Next is the connection quality definition. It's where how we define our ratings between excellent and poor. We may change the values given to our own desired values. For any changes made, we may click the commit button or else cancel. On the top right, you can see is a list of dates. As you can see from here, we have the previous record of those connection quality. Next is the user based detection. By default, the user will be redirect to the following website, which is Baidu.com. In this step, we may enter our username or IP address or click the following button which will show a window bar for us to select the following users. In this video, I will test my own computer IP address. And settings. In this window, we may choose to either use the default website or our own defined website and specific the following website. In this example, we will use www.google.com. Once we are ready, we may click the start button. As you can see, it is waiting for the following user of the particular IP to launch or open www.google.com.
And here you can see that when we enter the front website, it will show the following window. And over here, it is still waiting for the user to initiate the test. Once the test has been initiated, you can see the progress over here. For your information, this process may take a while. Once the test has been completed, the following dialog will be shown. And these are the results of our connection. As you can see, the connection is poor. This could be due to few reasons that has been highlighted over here which is could be either due to the bandwidth management or the device and firewall thank you